I'm honored to take part of this 17th Caribbean Week of Agriculture. FAO is grateful for the opportunity to be here with you today. The world is currently facing uncertain and challenging times, particularly regarding the future of our agri-food system. We acknowledge the Caribbean agri-food sector is facing an unprecedented time. The impact of recent multiple external shocks continue reverberating and is affecting Caribbean people, livelihood, and economies. According to the last state of food security and nutrition on the world, called it SOFI 2023, while some regions have reduced hunger, the Caribbean is the region where recovery is the slowest and hunger was continued to rise. On average, Hunger in Latin America and the Caribbean decreased from 7.0% in 2021 to 6.5% in 2022. This is a decrease of 2.4 million people facing hunger. However, 7.2 million more people are still facing hunger compared to 2019 before COVID. South America mainly drove the decline, while the Caribbean experienced an increase from 14.7% in 2021 to 16.3% in 2022. The Caribbean was is a region most affected by food insecurity. In this regard, FIO was working closely with CARICOM members to address food and agricultural challenge and promote growth and resilience. FIO recognized CARICOM's extraordinary effort to implement the agri-food system strategy in member states to reduce the Caribbean's large food imports built by 25% in 2025. We have worked together in mechanisms to analyze the role of trade policy in promoting food and nutrition security to design evidence-based policy. We have strengthened our political dialogue with President and Minister of the Caribbean countries. I had the opportunity to address the critical issue of food security at the 17th special meeting of the Council for Foreign and Community Relations, COFCOR, in Nassau in February 2023. We have also taken steps to reinforce the Caribbean involvement in different consultation process for FIO government bodies. Your contribution to FIO governmental bodies are crucial, especially with the upcoming regional conference of FIO in Guyana next March 2024. Caribbean countries are actively participating in GRULAC meetings to communicate their requirements and work priorities to the organization. Furthermore, FIO has committed to providing technical support to update the CELAC plan for food security, nutrition, and hunger, which was a result of the last CELAC's declaration in Buenos Aires. This plan will support setting goals for addressing, addressing hunger and malnutrition challenge in the region. The current pro tempore presidency of CELAC, held by San Vicente and the Granadines, has played an important role in leading this, leading this effort successfully. On the other hand, a recent ministerial meeting of small island developing states, least developing countries, and landlocked developing countries on the transformation of agri good system called up on FIO to scale up action to meet the SDG target and the four betters better production, better nutrition, better envi environment, and finally, better life. We know smallholders in the Caribbean face a major challenge of low productivity. As a result, we fund low yields, weak market integration, production fragmentation, low incomes, food insecurity, and widespread poverty. And climate change and land degradation have become a significant problem in many Caribbean countries due to population pressure, soil erosion, water scarcity, and the breakdown of traditional soil fertility system exacerbating the region's challenge. Our attendance at this 17th session of the Caribbean Week 
of agriculture demonstrated our commitment to being a reliable and supportive partner for the Caribbean in the effort to improve agri-food system in order to adopt innovation solution to address persistent challenge to the productivity and competitiveness of value change, build community and national resilience, including investing in climate change adaptation and better monitoring and target vulnerable population to ensure no one is left behind. By working together with a shared commitment and forming strong partnership, we can create a, per a prosperous and fair future for all of us. Let's keep fighting against hunger and malnutrition. Thank you so very much.